A volunteer firefighter is being remembered for his excellent work after being killed in a crash. A Florence man who was believed to be impaired is locked up for his death. Nine on your side reporter Jay Warren has the story from Aurora. Heavy hearts here at Aurora Fire and Rescue as they mourn the loss of Jason Richardson. The guys here say that he was a firefighter everyone could count on. Inside Aurora Fire and Rescue, the turnout gear is ready to go for the next call. But there will be no more fires for Jason Richardson to fight. No more high-speed runs in one of the engines. He was a very good operator on the trucks. He was, that was one of his main things, that he would be the operator of the truck when it went out. Took care of it, drove it, you know, made sure everybody had water when they needed it and whatever. So, yes, he was, he was a good firefighter. The flags flew at half-staff today in honor of Richardson, who joined in 2008. In your heart, you want to do it. And, I, and Jason did. He had it in his heart to give back. Jason was a big guy with a sense of humor and not only fit the role, but enjoyed playing the horror figure of the same name for Halloween at a local haunted house. But all of that was cut short Saturday, Florence police say, along Woods Point Drive by 47-year-old William Stanton of Erlanger. Stanton is charged with manslaughter, assault, criminal mischief, and DUI. Police say he was under the influence when he struck Richardson. For Douglas Olmanseek and other firefighters here, Richardson's loss is the loss of a family member. You know them and you, all, you know everybody. You know what people are going to do. You know what they can do and what they can't do. It's just, it's just hard. Like the other firefighters here, Richardson joined to give back to the community. It's a memory they'll have of him, the memory of a firefighter whose life was taken too soon. Jay Warren, Nine on Your Side, Aurora.